This is an updated version on the lecture of field of vision. This includes area tested, stimulus size, and strategy used. In this example, we can see that the test is 24 degrees and the strategy is CETA standard and the stimulus size is size 3, color is white. In the Humphrey, you can check test for 10 degrees, 24 degrees or 60 degrees. <coughs> the difference between the old 30 pattern and the newer 24 pattern is that in the 24 pattern the outermost ring is omitted except these two nasal these two points in the nasal area so this will reduce the total points of test by 29 percent so the tests will be quicker so in both the distance between test locations is 6 degrees but the number of points tested in 30 degrees is 76 while in 24 it is 54 what about the central 10 degrees if we order the central 10 degrees the distance between test locations is only 2 degrees and we are going to test 68 points this is especially important if you want to check changes in the central area. As you notice here in the 24 or in the 30, the central 10 degrees only are tested by 12 points. But if we order separately 10 degrees, then you are going to test 68 points. This is very important if you want to check for changes in the central 10 degrees. In this example, this is the same patient tested twice, once with the 24. Notice here changes in the central 10 degrees. Almost everything is affected except one point here and one point there. But on repeating with asking for the central 10, you can see you have several points here not affected. So this is important for the follow-up. If by time changes may appear, we can detect it with the central 10 degrees, but we will miss it with the 24. Recently, it was noticed that macular damage both in the structure and function occurs in the early stages of glaucoma, even in glaucoma suspects. It was noticed that structurally, the inferior macular region, which correspond to the superior visual field central part, are especially vulnerable in early stages of glaucoma. This led Humphrey to introduce a new system which is called CETA Faster 24-2C pattern. As you notice here, the X's are the original 12 points in the previous 10, uh, 24 degrees. These uh, points are omitted and instead the tested points drawn here in yellow. These are corresponding to the changes that are known to occur in the early stages of glaucoma. So this is the shape of the printout. The locations are different. The locations are directed to the area where there is a faction in the early stages of glaucoma. In the octopus, we have different programs like program G, M, 10 degrees, N for neurological, D for diabetes, 
BT for blephrotosis. The glaucoma program, as you notice here, this is the original program 32, which is similar to that of the Humphrey. But most of the uh, printout in case of glaucoma in the octopus are different. As you notice here, the program G get more points located in the central area. The distance between this location is 2.8 degrees. And also it concentrates on the nasal area. So the total number of points tested are less and the points are concentrated in special areas, not regular as in the Humphrey. The, in the octopus, they choose in the location in relation to the anatomical spread of the nerve fiber layer. We have two uh, programs. We have G1 and G2. Both they have the same points tested in the central 30 degrees as we described previously. The G2 program also added 14 points tested in the, between 30 and 60 degrees and specially concentrating on the nasal area, checking for the nasal step. Again, the macular changes can be checked by program, macular program or central 10. Central 10 points are universally distributed with distances to degrees, as in the Humphrey. But in the macular program, points are more concentrated in the center. And as you can see here, this is the degrees in between. Neurological program can be related to full neurological program or fovea or to the blind spot. So we have three N programs. Diabetes points tested are located in areas known to be affected in diabetes. Again, the blephrotosis. Next is the stimulus size. Mostly we use size 3. But in cases of advanced glaucoma, we can go to size 5. This is especially if the visual acuity is less than counting fingers two meters because of the glaucoma. Also, we can check the program to be of a slower rate so the patient can follow up. So the regular three size three, and this is size five. It is much larger again in the octopus we can have similar 